I'm still checking it against my directives. But if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's arming key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos One. Just be careful. We're running out of time.
the video Alex showed you. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan. But why? Just because it came first. If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me, and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose. Or have none at all. Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you? sending you two activation signals. The first will direct the Typhon away from you. The second will bring it down on you. Use your transcribed messaging system to fire them off. his transcribe. I even asked Abigail to check his cabin before she came in. HR is going to his ass home for sure this time. He was already on thin ice. Thought he was doing good. With the Naltrex on? Seeing Dr. Cole? I'll call security and have them track him down. Hopefully, he's okay. Matthew, I have a, a hypothetical question for you. Come on, Manny. Just be upfront with me. I... Seen you checking out my caboose in these trans star uniforms. If you want to ask me out, just no, I do not. This is serious. No, serious and hypothetical. Well, shit, I'm listening now. Let's see, you discovered something incredibly treacherous, life threatening, something everyone ought to know about. I don't know. Send an email, 
Call security? But, but, you needed to do it anonymously. System oh, alert. Shit, Annie, Repairs what did needed. I didn't Please do anything. contact a qualified Not engineer. Yet. Okay, well, uh, as long as we're talking hypothetical, I guess I'd EVA my ass out to that orbiting billboard and flash it as big as Vegas on the screen. Not a bad idea. Thank you, Matthew. And for the record, your bottom looks frumpy. What happened? Uniform, you're probably not authorized. Running checks. Sim lab secure. Well, except for E. But he'll be up all night. Speaking of up, did you see the photos of his daughter Maya? But that's not his daughter. It's his wife. Are you kidding me? No, she died. Well, when Igwe was younger, it's in his records. Christ, you've seen his records? Yeah. System During alert. the security checks, Repairs looking for those red flag sites that the brass is up in arms about? Engineer. Apparently, came home. Found her dead on the floor. Aneurysm. Spent your life studying the brain. The brain takes its toll. With everything else going on at the time, with the shaming... Christ. You already said that. But I don't think he heard you. He's not looking at this station, that's for sure. Feeling baggage? We have a wide and a way of trying 
notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory. Work obsessed. Perfect medical record. No absences. New entry. Show. Danielle. Head of IT. Dislikes you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell. And emotive operator hack. Dio Igwe. One of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of the station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about tests. Wild Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. Michaela Ilyushin. Chief engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when tests began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition, paraplexus. Convenient, but false. Severing ties seem prudent to you. Less painful, given the impending memory loss. Paraplexus. Nerve disorder. Prevents use of neuromods. Requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration. Renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Sarah Elazar. Chief of security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. Alex, I figured it out. Just too late. Graves, are you still in fabrication? The receptor molecules, the exotic neurotransmitters, we didn't synthesize them. And there's no terrestrial source. Graves, don't do anything drastic. You know me. You know I always have a contingency plan. We've been shoving it into our skulls. It all comes from them. But you, you never... I'm going to send someone to help you. I need to get this out now. Oh, God, but the neuromods, they can still be fabricated. Graves, 
Do not touch the Neuromod licenses. Do you hear me? Concerto Leitner played. It was the first time Maya heard him, and we were both. I felt small in the light of his skill. I can play it now too, thanks to a neuromod, but only in my head. You used a guest neuromod. I copied their neuroscans and hid the data on my transcribe. Fabricated my own mods. I'm not proud of the act. Now, I'm glad I did.
Bomb alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Good evening, Talos. We'd like to remind you that company policy requires you to log any voluntary extension of your work hours with the station counselor. We know the projects aboard Talos 1 are exciting, but even the brightest minds need adequate rest. Diagnosing. No trauma or illness is detected. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you, unless you're interested in medical trivia or a joke. Twenty thirty. Twenty thirty. Talos One becomes fully operation. Twenty twenty five. Nineteen eighty to nineteen nineteen sixty four. Nineteen sixty.
Hello, are you here for an appointment? Tell me about the dream. The dream. Yes. It's, um... It's always in my lab, and, um... I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Uh, well, nothing. At first. I don't want to turn it on. But I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole. An immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. Hello. Nice to I see you. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like, the shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino. Does it look like this? No. No, no, that, that's... No, I, I don't... Um... Are you sure? Uh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Sarai, come in. It's Maybe Sarah. I can help you. But you can call me Chief Elazar. Diagnosis. Matt. Superficial Matt injury. Dyers, Nothing a portable medical kit uh, Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. A moment. All My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending so the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short Hello. right Good now. To you We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking over... Losing battle like that. Fighting. Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well trained and poorly equipped. Hello. Are the you research here for an is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. Sis. Igwe, but you knew what was it. Morgan, hooked up some more supplies. Take what you need, and don't be shy about using it. I don't think they will. Morgan. I don't... I don't understand. Thank you. It's a strange feeling. I hold Lightner's gift to the world in my hands. He will live on. I wish my wife could have heard him play again. That was brave of you. To recover the connectomes for me? I... I appreciate it. I appreciate all you and Transtar have done for me. Morgan? I haven't had much success in calling up more fabrication plans, but I did have a design for a psychoscope chipset I've been tinkering with. I'd be honored if you found some use for it. Morgan. This is certainly better than the cargo crate.
but I suspect we are still trapped. Perhaps the coral is a kind of reservoir of all the energy the Typhon have been accumulating. Hmm. No. <clears throat> What do you have for me, Cothran? Chief, yeah, so I checked that flight plan for the volunteer shuttle like you requested. You're right, it went dark for 12 minutes before it resumed a path towards Earth, but at a slightly different trajectory than before. It's almost unnoticeable, like it left from a different part of the station or changed its flight pattern around Talos. 12 minutes? What about the other shuttles? It's only the volunteer shuttles, but it's all of them. They go dark 8 to 10 minutes after leaving the station, then suddenly reappear. The VIP shuttles don't show the same... irregularity. Got it. Don't talk to anyone about this. About what, Chief? Exactly. Good work, Matt. Elazar out.
Contact a qualified engineer.
Morgan, this is Igwe. I stepped out for a moment. Miss Illusion's father, Andronov, the cosmonaut, he was here. I know he was. I'm sure there are logs, records in deep storage, but Morgan, you know what happened to him already. You've simply forgotten what you did. Miss Illusion, she may not understand. Do what you must. But if the records are gone, or happen to be destroyed due to the station damage, it would be for the best. Initiating test procedure 29, variant C, subject V-0106. Thanks for coming in. Downloading now. Morgan, thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot... 
I cannot believe it. I'll wait for you to come back before I listen to it. Be careful, Morgan. <laughs> 